Ah, it's Mark Dice. What does he have to say today? In a PBS documentary series about the brain, neuroscientist David Eagleman visited Virginia Tech's Research Institute to talk with them about how they discovered that they could tell whether or not somebody was a liberal or a conservative from a brain scan. And when you find out why they're able to tell the difference? <laughs> well, I mean, you're not gonna be surprised, but your suspicions will be confirmed. Montague has found a link between a person's politics and one basic reaction, disgust. He has volunteers go into an MRI scanner where they look at a series of images. I show them somebody with a knife to somebody else's throat, physically threatening stimulus, a, a dead, corpse, something that was gross, like flies on a salad or something like this. These things elicit responses in your nervous system, and we record their brain activity. And they go into a booth, and they answer a political ideology survey. How do you feel about gun control, abortion, premarital sex, things like that? Montague's results are striking. The greater the disgust response in the brain, the more conservative the person is likely to be. A smaller response correlates with a more liberal outlook. This is like finding the missing piece of the political puzzle that explains everything. The shocking part is that your response to a single disgusting image can predict your score on that test with 95% accuracy. Think about how profound this discovery is for a moment. When liberals see something that's potentially dangerous, that's disgusting, perverted, abnormal, instead of having the normal warning signs going off in their brain that alerts them that something is not right, they feel nothing. Look at how freaked out this guy is by his discovery. He knows the implications of this, but he just can't say it. Doesn't this translate to the fact that conservatives get offended more easily and are more closed-minded? Why would we want to give people more power who have been proven, and now with brain scans they've been proven, to be more restrictive, more oppressive, and who get offended at more things? Y'all want more authoritarianism while pretending that you love freedom. You all want strict order. You want to control the way that people live. And you're most likely to be the ones to support so many more things being added to why we have the largest percentage of our population in prison than any other country. These findings about the human brain aren't the positives you've convinced yourself of. Have a nice day.